It's been an open secret for years now that our country has been involved in a covert war against veterans. Now, don't get me wrong. In some ways, the government loves veterans. They look great in a photo op. What they don't like are veterans as a budget line because veterans, especially disabled ones, they cost a lot of money. So now, with, with new vets, say from Afghanistan, when they're injured or disabled, our government likes to give them a one-time lump sum payment. No fuss, no muss, and then you're on your own, and don't call us, my friend, when the money runs out. Remember, our Prime Minister likes to fancy himself a bit of an economist. Then we have our Second World War vets. Fewer of them are using the Veterans Affairs offices, which is true. We lose over 1,000 World War II vets every single month in this country. That's what economists call a downward trend. And really, how many of them are going to be around for the next election? So let's just shut their offices right now. If there is a hero in this covert battle, it would have to be Veterans Affairs Minister Julian Fantino for dragging this entire conflict out in the open. Recently, veterans from all over Canada, they traveled to Ottawa to meet with the minister to discuss these issues in a scheduled meeting. Well, the 88-year-old who fought the Nazis, he managed to make it on time. The soldier from Afghanistan with the shrapnel in his brain, he managed to make it on time, whereas Fantino... He was a no-show. He left those soldiers waiting out in the hallway for over an hour. Then he waltzes by, he gets mad at them, and then he walks out in a huff. Julian, you're a public servant. Try acting like one. In some battles, you have to choose sides. And when it comes to government versus veterans, it's hard to go with the government when they're not even offering common courtesy or respect.